Hello to everybody. Thank you for attending this talk. And thank you for the organizers to invite me. I will share my screen now. Okay, very good. Um, the objective of this talk is explore the possibilities to implement a server automatic collider performing computations. This project has been started at least 10 years ago with participation of several researchers, collaborators, and sponsors. The project was working mainly in Mexico and the United Kingdom with important participation and support from other laboratories. In this way, we can see several collaborators, researchers, and students. Some researchers have supported some results directly with some grants in this time. Okay. In conventional computing, has a lot of directions, from quantum computing, reaction diffusion computing, reversible computing, tiling computing, swarm computing, and so on. All are related to the field of unconventional and natural computing, where the essence of this paradigm is to change the physics where a computer could work. From John von Neumann's era, the server automata theory was pushed to complex behavior, computability, and constructors in two dimensions. Particularly, in the last 15 years, I have been interested in exploring exhaustively complex rules in one dimension from an easy way to try to understand a fragment of this universe and how to scale complex constructions. So, cyclotrons and um, circular computation is a way to study this subject. This way, the literature of several automata evolving as computers offers a lot of implementations and a diversity of ideas has worked. We can see computations handled by signals where they travel and interact with other signals and produce a specific value. The famous game of life, several automata, opened a great interest in the, in the 70 years because operations are conducted by larger interactions. At this point, what is really fascinating is how establishes a control of chaos and unpredictable reaction in particles with different velocity, phases, and contact points. Indeed, 60 years later, authentic life enthusiasts continue discovering and constructing authentic very big monsters in this automaton. So computing by computing competing patterns is another line. And interactions show how a lot of unstable cells can be fixed to represent binary values. So the main characteristic with this uh, model is that you have uh, hundreds of thousands of cells and they are self-organized to represent a, bi a binary value.
Okay, so the several so automatic in one dimension are represented in an infinite array of cells where every cell can take uh, a value from an alphabet. So for the elementary case, a central cell is connected just by its close neighbors. Typically, for reasons of memory, these unidimensional spaces are closed as strings to observe its global dynamics in two dimensions. Okay, here we can see uh, classes in several automata. Um, this classification was proposed by Stephen Wolfram in 1994, evolving elementary rules. The first evolution is the rule 168 that shows how a stable state dominates the whole evolution from any initial condition. While rule 15 is a reversible rule and shows how blocks of cells repeat forever from any initial condition. Rule 30 is a subjective rule that exhibits unrecognizable patterns as cows and where evolutions don't define some regular pattern from any initial condition. And rule 110 maybe is the most popular elementary rule because this function displays typical behavior from any random initial condition. Particularly, we will explore with more details this function. All right. Particularly, Wolfram classifies elementary server automata in this table, where rules 41, 54, 106, and 110 display complex behavior. As we know, during several years, a lot of different reclassifications have been proposed. Nevertheless, none of this reclassification coincides, but this has an interesting point. Okay, we will put attention in rule 54, where this rule has a number of relevant filters. This rule is a good case to research problems such as artificial life, complex behavior, patterns, garden of alien configurations or ancestors, and so on. Particularly, the rule 54 beginning from random initial conditions, you can see as emerged blinded ones periodically. In this evolution, we can see at last four or five blinded ones emerging from chaotic gradients or a specific interaction of cells. Another characteristic is that page evolutions are completely symmetric. Okay, rule 110 is the most popular material because in 1998, Matthew Proof proved the universality of this rule in a special meeting celebrated at the Santa Fe Institute in the United States. Rule 110, as well, is a good case to research problems such as artificial life, complex behavior, garden of agent configurations, and collision theory of particles. 
where some of these particles has the characteristic that they can evolve with infinite extension. So the revolutions are asymmetric. All right. It is uh, interesting how these particles in elementary cell automata are related directly to the study of the streams. Global evolutions of fragments of them are a natural way to study dynamics in cell automata. Several previous results in formal, in formal language theory are applied to describe some property. This way, we can think of a particle as a string where these particles are able to coexist with a stable or not stable background. In this moment, a Feynman diagram is useful to understand conceptually how this interaction shall work. Thus, two particles P and Q can be codified in a precise, in a precise Y across its face with a precise distances because it is just a concatenation of, it, of its screens. When this interaction starts, we, we will wait a time where the collision will produce maybe chaotic information and later produce the decided collision. Sorry, the decided particles. Okay. In 1986, Jung Lind was the first researcher to describe particles in the world 110 as strings showing some short and practical interaction with interesting behavior, all they codified as concatenations of strings. But in 1997, James Hanson and James Crutchfield developed an extensive study of the use of finite state machines to determine this language and codify particles as well. Also, they introduced the concept of filters to get a better view of particles interactions. How we can see in this evolution. Also, they specify um, how we could represent these particles by uh, as a question. Okay. Later in 1998, Harold McIntosh establishes particularly that the problem in rule 110 can be oriented as a problem. At the same time, he had developed the tire studios to calculate directly this language across the debris diagrams, where the cycles in the diagram represent peri periodic configurations, including, of course, particles. Okay, in this slide, we can see the number of particles we are rep reported at the moment in the world 54. These particles can evolve individually or in package that are particles without periodic background. Also, the world 54 has a glider zone with displacements. This, uh, this is stationary. However, we can see that this clone is extensible. 
because these extensions can travel to the left of the right side in two forms. Okay. Now, we can see the number of particles cataloged in rule 110. At the moment, we know 14 particles and one white glider gone, which is extensible as well. However, particularly, the rule 110 exceeded particles with an unlimited number of extensions that implies in an infinite number of collisions. So, definitely, the reading diagrams are very useful to calculate quickly these regular expressions. The reading diagrams determine all streams overlapping with the interaction of a close neighbor with the central cell. If such a relation exists, then a connection between these vertices is labeled with the value of a neighborhood. This way, if you follow away into the into the diagram concatenating these labels, it is a string with periodic behavior, which can be concatenated with other periodic strings. But it's the same for with the cycle gallery. Um, we have an example. In this diagram, we can see a degree diagram calculating all periodic strings with period eight and moving four cells to the right. The regular expression is conformed by three cycles. They are the king's close and an union which permits you to choose the way to codify a particle or another. A connection between two cycles allows you to codify positive particles versus negative particles, and the collision yields an annihilation. That is the first evolution in this, in this case. All right, another useful diagram to find this string is the cycle diagram. It is a function with the global configuration for a length given. In this case, we calculate the strings of length 51 to decodify the block of cells which determine the stationary Particles in rule 110. Of course, the space is huge, and actually, some algorithms can calculate some of them in units. Um, the attractor displays chaotic behavior because the history of this uh, branch are asymmetric. But the important uh, information for use is the attractor that is defined by seven vertices that are exactly the regular expression to codify this stationary particle. Okay, a close of the blue diagrams, cycle diagrams, and filling theory, we have calculated the field set of expression to codify every particle in group 54. Every string represents a particular phase where each particle called a star in an initial condition. Of course, it is a combinatorial problem to explore the universe of collisions with the particle.
This is the language determined by particles in room 110. Let's find clearly the difference with the language of particles in room 54. Because particles in room 110 have several labels of faces and contact points where the particles can collide. Of course, this is a consequence for long periods in these particles. So actually, we have implemented these strings into systems that we will see in the other slides. Now is the moment to refer to the circular computation. The idea of a circular computation has been proposed and explored by Michael Arby in 1962. He had conceptualized how a circular Turing machine may work to simulate that system. The components are essentially the same as the original machine. The main difference are the states of the Turing machines are incorporated in the alphabet of the tape. And the end of the tape is labeled to control the length of the strings. For example, if the information reach the end of the tape, the machine will be read the letter each. that say that is the end of the tape. And then we find another, uh, another quintuple, the decision of uh, introduce new uh, cells in the tape or back to the process is available. Okay. Other interesting uh, and useful results becomes in the year 2002. Tomaso Toffoli exposed the concept of simple super collider. The main idea is synthesize the basic relations where two particles hold evolve in rings. They are the union, identity, and the friction interaction. This way, a contact point in a cyclotron determines the result of every collision. Toffoli has done this uh, study in lattices. So, Consequently, we can construct diagrams of cyclotrons, where each state in this diagram is defined by a number of particles and contact points. And when the number of collisions is completed, then it changes to another state with a new set of particles. Thus, we can change configuration where a block of particles changes to another block of particles. In this case, we design a mesh across multiple collisions, which also can be synchronized, synchronized to get periodic patterns by particle collisions. In this simulation, we can see the result of the codification of 18 particles with synchronization or asynchronization reactions, respectively. Because the first, the first evolution show how 
the particles are preserved later of collision, similar to solitronic reactions. For the second evolution, so all particles synchronize it and display in this mesh. Okay, initially, to simulate circular evolution in one dimension, we use the discrete dynamics lab. This is a free software developed by Andy Weinstein in 1992 at the Santa Fe Institute. So, we did have a first way to explore circular evolution. We can see the ring where it is sedated in the same way, and another where you can see a three dimensional projection, which is most useful to understand the history of the evolution. Also, selecting a filter, we can see clearly the particle dynamics. In this case, we show uh, how a number of particles will collide to produce a wider zone in root one term. And this glider zone is a um, control controller because the reaction produced periodically annihilation of particles forever. All right, um, here we have a nice example where implement a simple and practical control of positive, positive integrals by practical reaction in World 54. Um, the reaction start with a collision between one stationary and negative particle with three particles which are controlled by other two stationary particles that are traveling in the corners. The particles travel around the cyclotron and return to the original stationary particle before to collide to other two stationary particles. And the number of times in the history of the stationary particle that is at the center of the movie represent precisely positive number successively. Um, of course, by the number of cells related in this uh, simulation, that is uh, more than 3,000 of cells, the operation is slow. Actually, we have uh, developed a free software, namely CA Viewer, where you can design and test quickly different kinds of reactions with circular evolutions. So, here, you don't need any experience in qualified particles in the elemental cell automata. Only you need give a click in these buttons and evolve your experiment. Another example shows the synchronization of 216 particles to construct a periodic pattern across multiple collisions in rule 54. The reaction starts with a ne negative particle colliding versus a stationary particle, gelding a negative particle plus two positive particles. But the first negative particles find this new pair of positive particles and annihilate them to continue to the next reaction. So the patterns that is projected in three dimensions 
is a regular pattern that uh, where you can see a polygon that is constructed on the evolution. Okay. We remember that universality in Google was in Google 110 was proved implemented a city tax system. Basically, the function of this machine in the server space needs, needs two regions of mobile particles. And the binary values are represented by blocks of stationary particles. This way, we can represent blocks of particles across cyclotrons, cyclotrons, sorry, and connect them as a diagram of cyclotrons. Across of this super collider symbology, we can express the cyclic system with two cyclotrons connected to one collider. Blocks of positive and negative particles are turning in this cyclotron, but at the same time, they are connected in a gate, where this gate will introduce the block of particles every time. So, a period is defined to inject blocks of particles periodically to the collider preserving distances model periodic background. This way, it is not necessary to use very large spaces to work more operational in the citrus pack system. In this slide, we can see the first stage of the citrus pack system in the collider and the main operations. Actually, also we have described the core forces to operate the collider, we are working to implement the algorithm to connect the cyclotrons with the collider and simulate it completely. This, this experiment relates more than three millions of cells and we have seen in a more compact space, the operation of the cyclic tax system in Google 110. All right. In conclusion, we have uh, explored the world space of elementary cellular automata worlds with different capacities uh, that were reported using these cyclotrons. In the first column, we have the evolution rule. Later, the classification with respect to work and classes. And if this rule is able to support particles, and if these particles are extensible, and if these particles can move with negative, positive, or stationary displacements, if they are able to support glider bond or or uh, glider bond with extensions, another um, important characteristic is that the complex rules regularly support solitonic uh, behavior. So in this case only the rule 54, 110 and 26 are able to support solitonic reactions. Another uh, impo important characteristic for use is if alter these original rules with uh, another function that is memory, how this rule is able to preserve the complex behavior or not. In this case, 
this set of rules is able to preserve the complex dynamics with memory. The last column only shows what rule is able to support fractals um, or fractal um, patterns. Sorry. Okay, this is the end, and thank you for the kind attention. I have some minutes to share with you some uh, repositories about several automata that maybe could be interesting for you. So, thank you. And um,